I put 189 hours in the Pokemon Shuffle. I have no idea why I did this. I could have spent this time getting back into playing guitar, reading classic American literature, the realized that the man was masturbating. and playing more of my top 5 games of 2015. Number 5. Super Beat Zonic has amazing difficulty customization, allowing you to change the amount of notes that fly at you, the amount of notes that you can miss before failing a song, and the exact distance and speed that notes fly at you, all wrapped around great presentation and gameplay that calls back to the roots of the DJ Max series. Stage clear. New record. Number 4. Her Story is a very unique game of interactive and non-linear storytelling. It's a very refreshing experience. Number 3. Osterbreed. Okay, I know this was on my Game of the Year list last year for the PC version, but 2015's new PS4 version is a pretty big update from it. Additions such as core gameplay mechanics being changed for better mapping of controller buttons, allowing you to freely aim your lock-on with the right stick, rebalanced enemy placement and patterns, new lighting and texture detail, and more cutscenes added to properly flesh out the story. Osterbreed on PC was a great game, but Osterbreed on PS4 perfects it. Number 2. Rocket League is the realization of everything I've ever wanted in a sports game. Easy to pick up and play but difficult to master, dynamic physics and tight controls that allow for incredible freedom in movement and allow for some unique moments to happen organically, just like actual sports. No pre-canned animations for gameplay here, only raw skill. And number 1. Bloodborne. I love the idea of Souls games, but Demons and Dark Souls never really clicked for me. But Bloodborne did more than just that. It became one of the few games over the last decade that I absolutely obsessed over. Faster gameplay speed, combat that reminded me of Devil May Cry 3's trickster playstyle, atmosphere that felt like Resident Evil 4, a world based on HP Lovecraft's dreamscape stories. This RPG isn't just my favorite game of the year. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I have the official soundtrack on CD. I bought the collector's edition guide after I already beat the game. My PS4 has been using the Hunter's Dream dynamic theme for the last nine months and counting. For someone who doesn't care that much about Souls games, this spin-off was a huge surprise for me. And rounding out the rest of my top 10, number 6, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, number 7, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, number 8, Transformers Devastation, number 9, Tales from the Borderlands, and number 10, Sword Art Online Lost Song, with shoutouts to Xenoblade Chronicles X for being way too damn long for me to finish on time, and Box Boy for being a great little puzzle platformer that deserves some recognition. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Sir Android TV.